All right, my people, welcome back to Critics News. As it be now, they say that Russia has responded to Nigeria and Tinubu <laughs> over their flag holding the wave for the northern part of this country. They say they don't want Nigeria again. No. They are saying that the Russian Federation should come and take over their territory, that they, this government has failed and can no longer manage their problems. I say now, wow. <laughs> Why is it that black man is always looking for white man that will take care of them? Instead of you to reason how you can take care of yourselves, you are looking for Russia that will come and take you as slaves. That is another slavery. Oh yes, that is what they are calling for in the north. But I thought they are Arewas. We had Ududua, Biafra, Arewa, Wazobia, blah, 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 and all that. What have you? So how come, instead of them to wave Arewa flag, how come you guys left Arewa flag to be waving Russian flag, calling on Russia to come and take over? Well, what do I know? I think if any of you from the northern part of this uh, country, Nigeria, comes across my video, I will be glad if you can give us the reasons why you guys never waved the Arewa flag. Rather, you are waving Russian flag, Russia law long. Although the, the, some of the people who are granting interview up and down have said that those waving, majority of those waving the Russian flags are from Niger Republic, I say, you see, <laughs> this country, eh, we can lie from Niger Republic. How did they enter? What passport are they using? This country does not have calculation. We don't even know who is who. No wonder full and terrorists can come in from any part of the Africa and enter Nigeria, then go there and be buying people anyhow they wish. And the government will not do anything. Our borders are porous. Nobody controls them. Now look at uh, some of the updates that we have gathered so far. Protesters di displayed Nigerian military flags, not Russian flags, as claimed by authorities. Farouk Berogi. So I don't really understand which one to believe again. But according to some of the pictures that we were able to see, um, before I show you that picture, they said Interpol have said that uh, thousands of dollars are flown out of Nigeria daily by corrupt individuals. So now thief thief every day, then they thief us for this country. You see and say every day, money they miss. They are looting money out of Nigeria. Now let me show you um, a picture here. A picture of uh, these uh, flags be uh, behind uh, Tinubu and uh, Buari. So if you look here, if you look beside uh, President Tinubu, you are going to see this flag here. So it is the same thing with the ones that these guys are waving. Now the only difference is here, you can see, you see. If you look at these flags now, you see red up, blue middle, uh, so I think it's different here. All right. I think it's different. The one with uh, Tinubu is red first, blue middle, and then white down. Then this is, um, these people have white up, blue middle, and then red down. So which one now? Let me check another one. Sorry. Okay. The one with Putin is red down. Okay, the one with Putin here, this one here, is uh, matching with the one that these guys in the north are using. But let's do another fact check here. Let's check uh, Buari's own. I think during Buari's tenure. Okay. The, the, the one for Nigerian military armed forces is uh, red up. Okay. Blue middle and then white down. So it is totally different. It is totally different. All right. So the ones that these northerners are waving is that of Russia. Okay, that is the, the flag for the Russian Federation. That is what they are waving in the north. So if you at, le at least have been able to clear that doubt now, because what this person said is that uh, it is not a uh, Russian flag, it is Nigeria. Anyways, Russian uh, president have sent a, a message to Tinubu telling him that uh, protesters, look at the headline here, he says... Nigerian within right to protest but have no interest in its governance. Russia is saying that they are not coming to invade 
as Oroko, Seme Tinubu no run, because Tinubu was preparing to run away from Asorok there eh, before Russia will meet them there <laughs> with their superior firepower. May they come fire them inside. <laughs> Tinubu was preparing, packing his bags until he heard from Putin. When Putin said, Oh, sorry, uh, we are not coming, we are not coming. So that was when Remy Tinubu unpacked the bags and told him, Ah, relax, no problem, don't have high BP because of them, they are not coming again all right so these guys are waving russian flags it is not joke this russian flag right white up uh, blue middle and red down while the nigerian armed forces has um red up um blue middle and then white down so it's opposite you know the two flags are you know similar but just the color differentiation line keep on anyways obasanjo have also spoken he said you turn employment that nigeria is sitting on a keg of gunpowder uh, that's the, this thing might explode someday former president um olushego obasanjo has expressed concern over youth restiveness caused by unemployment fearing that nigeria may be sitting on a keg of gunpowder Obasanjo made the statement during an interview with the Financial Times monitored by Channel's television. Our youths are restive, and they are restive because they have no skill. They have no employment. They have no um, employment. We are sitting on a keg of gunpowder, and I'm praying, my prayer is that we will do the right thing before it's too late. He warned. The elder statesman stance comes following the ongoing and bad governance nationwide protest by the youth over hunger and hardship in the country. Instead of them to solve this problem, they are looking for more election worry that they will declare wanted. They are. Youth across the country have embarked on protests since August 1st, a development which have since escalated with reports and incidences of violence and lootings recorded across the country. Speaking for the Obasanjo said, Nigeria's economy would have been much better if it had not relied on just crude oil production. He described the country's reliance on crude oil as a deadly mistake. I believe we made a deadly mistake by putting all our eggs in one basket by relying on oil. We had a very important commodity, gas, but we are flaring it, he said. The failure of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited NMPC, NMPCL, the international oil companies and other national company, oil companies to ramp up oil production to meet the country's need. Obasan just said Nigeria could have invested more in agriculture against crude oil. We ignored agriculture, which could have been the centerpiece of our investment. The former president then touched on the reason that Nigeria's former refineries have remained maribond despite huge investment and attempt at revamping them they don't want to revamp them they want to keep the niger delta on their feet they don't want the government of nigeria doesn't want anybody to rise they want everybody to be poor and suffering so that when election time comes they will see who to use to you know carry ballot uh, boxes that is the only gain they get by impoverishing nigerians nothing much when I asked president, when I was president, I invited Shell to come and take equity and run our refineries for us. They refused and said, our refineries were not well maintained. We brought amateurs instead of professionals. Then there was too much corruption with the way our refineries were maintained. They didn't want to get involved in such a mess. So no be today, they, those refineries will never ever work. So that is how he spoke on this matter. It is him. So Nigeria is not going anywhere. Nigeria is not going anywhere. The only solution is revolution. All these uh, small, small protests, what would they do? Now, still jokes. We are still joking. We never start. The government will not do anything. No. Government will not proffer solution to our problems until something serious happens. Eh, I just say make a type because. What will they do for Nigeria so you never even reach half of what Kenyans do? Let's listen to this man. By a foreign um, media, uh, why are you c uh, carrying uh, foreign flags during the uh, protest? His 
said because I don't see Nigeria where I am living. Therefore, I think I have to uh, invite any other country that can help me. So you can see, we can't ignore this kind of narratives. Why is it that Nigeria is starting to become absent in the minds of Nigerians? Because th th there is bad governance, and that is the, the, the reason for the protest. And bad governance. No one in Nigeria will say that there is no bad governance in Nigeria. The level of uh, political corruption, infinity, and, uh, and insecurity, hardship, and everything. We, we can continue like this, but we are not, uh, by implication, supporting any anarchy or um, uh, uh, um, violence activities, or even uh, inviting any foreign support for that. Okay. On Adansia. So even in the north, that is where my confusion comes in now because I was asking, I said, why not use Arewa flag so that you guys can break away from the country because the country has uh, failed. Rather, you people are looking for Putin to come and govern you guys. So I don't know how it happened. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they still want to continue under slavery. They are not tired. You see, when people don't know how to manage themselves, they prepare to sleep so that somebody else will loot and manage it for them. I think that's what's going on in their mind, Sha. So let me know your own opinion on these matters that we have touched so far. All right? Let us know what you think about them. Now, um, in case you want to send money to Nigeria, please don't forget to use Tap Tap Send. Um, it's an app that you can download from Play Store and App Store. Very reliable. And it is fast. And their rate is also very high. You will not be disappointed if you try the app today. Alright? So I'll see you people on the next video. Please share it and let others know what's going on in Nigeria. Thank you and God bless.